Do you want to know the top five flow state movies? If so, stick around. Yeah. I'm inspired. I'm inspired. What's happening, guys? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy, and I'm a flow state coach, which means that I help you feel better and perform better. Probably wondering why I'm wearing a beret, military commander hat. Well, it's a flow evolution. Okay? And I'm here to pave the way for you guys. Guys, those powerful videos it always starts raining. It always starts raining. Okay. So I gotta go inside. Alright guys, so before I get into this video, I want to just mention that this is purely my opinion and feel free to disagree with me. You can add any suggestions that you want in the comments below so people can see that, you know, there's different options and different movies that you guys can watch and recommend. However, these are my top five and these are the movies that really transformed me and changed my life around, so I want to give it from that perspective. And at the end of this video, I will be giving you some honorable mentions as well in a list, so look through those as well if you are interested at all. And... Yeah, if I get any ideas along the way, I'll definitely leave them in the comments below as well. Alright, so let's get started. The first one is Back to the Future. Now, I know that this is a trilogy. However, the first Back to the Future is a very essential keystone understanding. So, flow state is associated with timelessness. And, of course, Marty McFly is going to the past in the first one where he meets his parents. He meets... His dad, who he trains, he actually coaches his dad to win his mom over, and it's just, well, it's a very powerful storyline because he is, again, fighting against this bully called Biff. And, of course, if you watch the trilogy, you'll understand that Biff has um, lots of roles to play in the future movies, okay? However, I think this conquering of the bully, this archetype is very, very common in a lot of culture, a lot of movies, and I think a lot of movies were inspired from this, including Rick and Morty and all these other shows, right? They're just inspired from Back to the Future. Back to the Future was one of the most pinnacle, I think, movies about time travel that really got you to understand you know, the crazy scientist archetype with this this boy who wants to be a rock star archetype, right? And I think that it's just such a powerful understanding that you really get to understand that, okay, bullying is not cool, right? How to overcome that, how to go through it stronger. And we get to see a lot of the past, too, you know? So it gets really interesting when you start to notice all these characters. And, of course, they have these very old school songs like go Johnny go 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 and it's the power of love right all these songs that just get you into the zone when I look back you know it's just one of my favorite movies one of my fa definitely one of my favorite movies and I highly recommend you check that out if you haven't already second movie Inception okay now I know a lot of people blow this movie uh, out of proportion and you know they really overvalue it. However, the reason I love it is because it explores the dream realm and there's so many missing pieces in that movie. Okay, There's so many little elements in that movie that I think that you can't just watch it once. Right? It's the type of movie where you gotta keep watching it multiple times to really start to embrace and understand what's happening in that. Including the cinematography and just everything in that movie. Like, all of the this trippy sequences it reminds me like Tenet or Doctor Strange like these kinds of movies right I think it gave spark to those movies Inception again was kind of a trailblazer sci-fi movie in that they inspired other trippy movies to do something similar or to use this kind of CGI effects of the dream realm and I think it was very well done and I think Leo DiCaprio absolutely crushed the role as well as many of the other actors and actresses in that movie so highly recommend that you watch that more than once next one is 8 Mile okay I'm saying 8 Mile because it's very personal to me okay 8 Mile was when I was like 10 years old I watched 8 Mile and I got obsessed with rap battling and just the ability to 
win, compete and win over somebody, specifically, again, it's like a beating the bully archetype, right? Man, this guy choked up, he froze up, he was anxious on stage, and he used it, transmuted that power, and he came back stronger. It's a triumph over a feeling of stuckness, or he's choking on stage, and he doesn't let that memory of him choking be the last of it. He comes back next time even stronger. And I think that potential of just overcoming your bullies or, or taking that pain and transmuting it into power is very impactful for me. At least it was when I was very young. I was like 10 years old. I started to text battle and rap battle online after I watched 8 Mile. So it was a definite spark for me. That's what made me first of all get into hip hop and rap in the first place, okay? So I just have to thank that movie because it would, if it wasn't for that movie, I mean, it wouldn't have sparked that fire inside of me of knowing that I could protect myself using my words and how my communication through poetry can be such a weapon against my enemies. Of course, Eminem is great. He's one of the goats. He is a very, very skilled lyricist and he's, I think he's unsurpassable in terms of his skill set and how he weaves together the multi-syllabics and his underground style of hip-hop and as well as his freestyle rap really is what got me to understand and learn more about the structure and the science of hip-hop and rapping and you know really learning the punchlines and the you know the similes and all that kind of stuff I learned from Eminem so awesome movie not a movie that I would watch with kids, okay, just mentioning that. Uh, it has some scenes which are graphic. Uh, the next one is The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, okay. Dan Millman, you know, there's a book on The Way of the Peaceful Warrior as well. The movie's great, okay, the movie's great. This guy's an acrobat, he's a gymnast, you know, and basically he has to compete. Uh, and he meets this guy at a gas station and he becomes almost like his mentor okay and he teaches him about mindfulness and I think this is very relevant to the flow state because all that he's teaching him are ways for him to get back into that zone and really be in that presence in that pocket and you know just some key things that he teaches him just the wisdom when you watch that movie, just internalize what Socrates teaches him. Okay, the, the Socrates is the name of the, the mentor, the, the guide in the sense. And there's a very trippy thing happening where, you know, yes, he is the guide, but then suddenly he'll turn around and he'll disappear. And there's very trippy moments in the movie where you think, is this merging with fantasy or is this reality? You know, what's going on here? So... It really plays with the senses, and I think it's very powerful in terms of if you want to really embody a mindful life and lifestyle, this will give you certain ideas on how to really start to embrace that. There's something missing, and I think that missing piece for him was that spirituality element and, you know, not letting things control him, but the inner world being so strong that he comes back stronger. Okay, so very, very powerful movie, highly recommended, one of my favorite movies. I recommend this movie to everybody, so definitely check that one out. And then finally, you know, there is this movie. It's Samsara, okay? Samsara is by Ron Frick, I believe. And, you know, it's a meditative movie, so it's not a movie with a storyline. It's not a movie with a plot. It's a movie that is a visual adventure, okay? So it's like a visual meditation. And there are a few scenes in that movie that can be very distressing for you to watch. So proceed with caution before you watch this movie. However, what I would say is this movie gets you to understand humanity in some way. It gets you to this point where you understand the impermanence of life and, and there's something deeper going on here where 
or these different cultures are having all these different experiences. You're basically going on a journey around the world and you're seeing different elements of things, right? Different people's close up of people's faces. And I think it's one of those movies that you really have to watch with a group of friends and and everybody meditating in silence. Like I think that's a very powerful movie to embrace in a group because you know you can always you know talk to each other about the scenes and what's happening and it's a great vibe that is created while you watch that movie so you definitely need a lot of patience for that movie and again it's not a movie with a plot right so you're going to have to let go and fully surrender to the experience of that movie because if you watch it all the way through I'm telling you there's some beauty in there there's some gold nuggets in there okay and I know it's all visual and it's just a sound score however you I love the time passage of time and that movie definitely get getting you into the flow state you know it's empowering in that sense where you get to really understand how things interconnect but how also really what's what's wrong with the planet you know and how we can see it as a whole, but also fragmented in the way that it is, okay? And also just the different cultures and the merging of different cultures and, and, the, separ and the differences in cultures. You know, just observing that is so powerful. So yeah, those are the movies, okay, top five, I told you guys, I delivered on that. So, you know, here are some honorable mentions, if you are interested. Okay, check these out. Boyhood, okay, it's shot over 12 years, so we get to actually see the actor growing up throughout the movie. Uh, Limitless, of course, Doctor Strange, Lucy. Um, Terminal, I'm not a huge Tom Hanks fan, however, Terminal was a really good movie, and I highly recommend it. If you're talking romantic comedies, I think Hitch and Will Smith crushed that. Um, Coach Carter, okay, Freedom Riders, if you're... Thinking in terms of the time travel theme, definitely check out Project Almanac. Really enjoyed Wally and Happy Feet for talking animation. Uh, Waking Life, I quite like the Tony Robbins thing on Netflix. Becoming Nobody, Ram Dass. Be Kind Rewind. Okay, so I mean, I'm giving you a lot of movies here, so <laughs> stick to those top five. You, if you want, you know, I have lots of movies. I'll maybe make another video on this. However, yeah, those are the ones. Just start off with those five, okay? And then we can definitely speak further about it and then see what kind of movies you like. I'm very into, like, comedy slash sci-fi slash romance, upbeat kind of stuff. I don't watch a lot of horror or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, Soul. Soul, okay? Definitely another flow state movie. I mean, I have a flow state breakdowns. If I missed any, they're probably on there as well. I do some breakdowns all the time, so... Yeah, Bruce Lee as well, Enter the Dragon. Okay, I'm gonna keep going if I keep talking, okay? So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Have an amazing day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. See you guys next time.